Hey guys, welcome to Proformance Unlimited. My name's Steve. I'm one of the owners here. Um, been wanting to do a video for a long time showing, showing off some product. Um, project that we're going to be working with today is at our 7.3 liter Godzilla motor. This happens to be our 625 horsepower engine combination. And we're going to be testing out some new products made by Holly as well as out of Brock today. Uh, we are not being sponsored to make this video. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a bloopers video because this will be our first time playing with some of these products and we should be quite entertaining. All right, guys, what I have here is I separated these uh, boxes there, um, master kit. What I got here laid out across the bench in front of the motor here is, uh, looks like the timing cover, oil pan, oil pump, complete oiling system. And over here on the side bench here, I got uh, all the serpentine stuff. Let's get moving on it. Yes. All right, guys, me and Doug just got done unboxing the uh, oil pan assembly here. He's starting to figure out the trinkets now. Pretty cool, they put the oil pump in the front of the motor now, allowing you to have a uh, full rear sump oil pan for those Fox body applications. And uh, let's take you on the ride here a little bit and see how she goes. I am assume. Oh, I say yes. That, no, that's gonna go like this. Yep. So where's the one for this? guys we got to take a short break um holly happened to short us one of the o-rings that belong in the front of the oil pan here uh but luckily uh, the gm dealer down the street had one in stock and doug's heading over there to get guys uh i wanted to show you a little bit of how um the holly integral system show uh that goes together here um it's pretty cool uh they got the uh, your oil pickup is uh fixedly mounted to the bottom of the oil pan which they tunneled the uh port right to the front of the uh for the oil pump um you have your lower windage tray and then you uh, have a nice upper windage tray as well to go on here i have pretty clever uh, pretty clever design here um i know i got doug running out to the gm dealer to grab that seal uh i wanted to clarify on that uh what they did is uh gm or well uh, sorry holly used a gm style oil pump for the front of the motor that's why we're using the two o-rings out of that scenario which is pretty cool and convenient because they're pretty accessible call the dealer they had five in stock we were able to pick one up right away and uh we'll we continue to continue to move on with our project good. Good. just got back from gm looks like it's the same one what we're looking for that's cool you know make sure you tell holly uh short it's already on the first kit they sold <laughs> <laughs> absolutely hey, hey, hey. Okay, here we have the adapter that's got to go on here. Yeah, I got to put um, the gear in the pump, glued the pump. Well, that, you know, I wasn't going to put that until you open the pan. Okay, cool. And then they allow you, to, with this one, they actually allow you to do a um, oil cooler right off of it. Okay, very cool. Uh, so they sell an oil they cooler? They sell an oil cooler, oil cooler adapter. Otherwise we, could, otherwise, we could probably even drill it. Drill it, yes. But they, they make it so that Earl's makes an adapter so you can run right the oil cooler right off of it. Yeah, all right, I'm going to put this gear in. Move the pump. You won't be able to. The the we were talking about it before. You said you wanted to install the pump first, yeah, and then we'll put the cover, uh, on. The cover on. Absolutely, we'll loop that, and then the pan should drop right on. Yep. Yep. While you do that, let me start looking for the uh, bolts for the timing cover. Hopefully. Yeah, I can't. I don't want to 
that's cool. Spacers here or something? No, it's it's gonna bolt to the timing drum with um, Oh that's right, we said that. Is, uh, okay, so what, what do they recommend in that we uh we install the timing drum. Install the timing cover first. Yep, and, and then the last thing. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And just checking for spacing and stuff like that in the Yeah, back I am I'm see. looking. I don't see anything here. Nothing. Uh, well, yeah, the only thing I do see. Is all there. No, 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 it's there. It's there. It's smacked against it. That's smacked against it. That's not good. See that? I don't, I don't. Unless it's going to pull away. Do you think that this, like, it'll go like that with the timing cover on? I don't know. Like, the bottom will stay fixed, obviously, Is with the balance on I don't know. We'll have to look. We have to fix that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now we're going to lift this up. Okay. Obviously, we're gonna have the silicone, but let's just fix for now. No. No. See that? No. No. Don't read the instructions. You to replace that. Oh, wait, hang on. Maybe I did see something. What's the matter? About them talking about wanting to remove something. We are scrapping this torch to replace that bolt. There you go. With an extended washer in that location. So, there's your spacer, and there's your bolts. Okay, that's not on. No, no, we're putting on every night. I was oh, like, no, it is on. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you wanted to bang that 360 yeah. head on. You said you want a rubber? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> that makes sense. That I told you, I spotted that right away. I'm like, I need your yellow mark. I guess we can. I mean, I don't see There's any no real reason. Why not? Sure. Can I do it here? Yeah. Take some, take some pictures of the motor as we go again. Sure, so we can have it yeah. on. Uh, <coughs> what bolt, obviously, do they want? How many are going onto that pump? Four onto the front of the pump. Four onto the front of the pump. Eight millimeter by 30 millimeter long. Eight by thirty. Yeah. Should be four of them. Eight by thirty. That should be ten. I want to get this lined up. Then. That one right on. Then. Look at that. On this station. Now what I want. When to we're do done with that, I think we're going to need to put some silicone on it. On what? On those bolts there. Why? They're going to pull right in. Look. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, I'm going to gun that on. That leaves that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where's my gun? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put some silicone on. Just them, uh... 
that's it. Should be it. Look at that, change the spring from here. That's pretty cool. Yes. Now, what's the stat? Oh, I see. Yeah, there, there's got to be something else here, though. What's the story here? What? Oh, there it is. That's the seal. I was like, I was thinking here, I'm going, where's the seal from that? And what's this thing? Get the other side of it so we... we I'm saying I always use that. guys not too bad at all we got the uh, oil pan installed timing cover everything seemed to fit other than the one missing um, o-ring which was not too big of a deal and um, thank GM you. comes with comes you get it from GM GM exactly uh, thank you guys for tuning in maybe we'll bring you on the ride here a little bit for the uh, completion of the build thanks a lot peace <laughs>